In this video, we are going to have a basic introduction of integration on how to find the antiderivative of a certain function. If you can still remember, according to the power rule, the derivative of x raised to n is equal to n multiplied by x raised to n minus 1. Now, the power rule when dealing with antiderivatives, the antiderivative of x raised to n dx, that is x raised to n plus 1, over n plus 1 plus c. So instead of subtracting 1, we simply add 1 on the exponent and instead of multiplying by n, we simply divide by n plus 1. So we are going to use this formula in order for us to find the antiderivatives of a certain function. So let's start and let's have an example. On the first example, what is the antiderivative of x squared dx? So to simplify this one, let us have x squared, and then let us add 1, let's divide by 2, plus 1, and whenever we integrate a certain function, we need to add constant c. So this will be x cubed over 3 plus c, or you can write your answer as 1 third x cubed plus c, and this will be our answer. And if you want to check your answer, let's say, what is the derivative of 1 third x cubed plus c. So let us have one third and the derivative of x cubed that is 3x squared and the derivative of a constant that is 0. 1 multiplied by 3x squared divided by 3 this will be x squared. So we come up with the same answer. What about number 2? What is the antiderivative of 3x squared dx? So this will be 3 then x, let us add 1 on the exponent. So this will be 2 plus 1 over 2 plus 1. And then we add constant c. So this will be 3x raised to 3 over 3 plus c. Or we simply x cubed plus c. On number 3, what is the antiderivative of 3x raised to 4 dx? So this will be 3x raised to 4 plus 1, that's 5 over 5 plus c, or you can write as 3 over 5, x raised to 5 plus c, and this will be our answer. On number 4, what is the antiderivative of 16x raised to 7 dx? So this will be 16, and then x raised to 7 plus 1, that's 8, divide by 8. Plus c. Since we can divide 16 by 8, it will give us 2x raised to 8 plus c. And this will be our answer. How about a number 5? What is the antiderivative of x dx? Since the exponent of x, that's 1, it will give us x squared over 2 plus c or 1 half x squared plus c. On number 6, what is the antiderivative of 5 dx? So whenever you integrate a constant, you need to add a variable to it. So this will be 5 and the variable will be x and then plus c. This will be our answer. On number 7, what is the antiderivative of 8 dy? So this will be 8 and the variable will be y and then c. This will be our answer. What about number 8? What is the antiderivative of dz? Since we have 1 here, so this will be 1z plus c or simply z plus c. And this will be our answer. On number 9, what is the antiderivative of k dx? So let us have k x plus c. On number 10, what is the antiderivative of x over 9 dx? So to simplify this one, let us write this one as the integral of 1 over 9 x dx. And let us move the constant in front. So this will be 1 over 9, the integral of x dx. So let us simplify. Let us have 1 over 9, the integral 
of x dx, this will be x square over 2 plus c. And to simplify, let us have 1 multiplied by x square, that is x square, and then 9 times 2, that is 18 plus c, or you can write as 1 over 18 x square plus c, and this will be our answer. On number 11, what is the antiderivative of 1 over x square dx? So let us rewrite this one as the integral of 1 x raised to negative 2 dx. So we move x square in the numerator, it will give us x raised to negative 2. Or you can write as the antiderivative of x raised to negative 2 dx. So let us simplify. So this will be x raised to negative 2 plus 1 over negative 2 plus 1 plus c. So this will be x raised to negative 1 over negative 1 plus c. And to eliminate the negative sign on the exponent, this will be negative 1 over x plus c. And this will be our answer. On number 12, what is the antiderivative of square root of x dx? So to simplify this one, let us write as the antiderivative of x raised to 1 half dx. So we change square root of x as x raised to 1 half. And to simplify, let us have x raised to 1 half plus 1 divided by 1 half plus 1 plus c. So let us have x 1 half plus 1, that is 3 over 2 divide by 3 over 2 plus c. And to simplify this one, we are going to get the reciprocal of 3 over 2 and we are going to write x raised to 3 over 2 into a radical. So this will be 2 over 3 square root of x cubed plus c. And since the index that is 2, we are going to have 2 over 3 square root of x square times x plus c. And the square root of x squared, that is x, and our final answer will be 2x over 3 square root of x plus c. And this will be our answer. On number 13, what is the antiderivative of cube root of x raised to 5 dx? So let us have the antiderivative of x raised to 5 over 3 dx. And to simplify, let us have x raised to 5 over 3 plus 1 divided by 5 over 3 plus 1 plus c. So let us have x 5 over 3 plus 1, that is 8 over 3. Or the fastest way to do that, that is 5 plus 3, that is 8, capital denominator. So, to simplify this one, we are going to get the reciprocal of 8 over 3, and we are going to write x raised to 8 over 3 into radical. So, this will be 3 over 8 cube root of x raised to 8 plus c. Since the index that is 3, we are going to cut x raised to 8 into x cubed. So, this will be 3 over 8 cube root of x cubed, x cubed, x squared, plus c, total of x raised to 8. And to write our final answer, this will be 3 over 8. Since they are 2x cubed, this will be x squared, cube root of x squared, plus c. And this will be our answer. On number 14, what is the antiderivative of x cubed multiplied by square root of x dx? So to simplify this one, let us write as antiderivative of x cubed times x raised to 1 half dx. Since we have the same base, let us copy the base and then add their exponent. This will be x raised to 3 plus 1 half dx. So this will be the antiderivative of x. 3 plus 1 half, that is 7 over 2, and then dx. And to simplify, this will be x raised to 7 over 2 plus 1 divided by 7 over 2 plus 1 plus c. 
So this will be x. 7 plus 2, that is 9. Copy the denominator. Plus c. So let us find the reciprocal of 9 over 2 and let us write x raised to 9 over 2 into radical. So this will be 2 over 9 and then square root of x raised to 9 plus c. And to simplify, let us have 2 over 9 and then let us cut x raised to 9 as x raised to 8 times x raised to 1 plus c. So let us have 2 over 9. The square root of x raised to 8, that is x raised to 4, square root of x plus c. And this will be our answer. On number 15, what is the antiderivative of x squared minus 3x plus 7 dx? So let us simplify. The antiderivative of x squared, that is x cubed, over 3, and the antiderivative of negative 3x, that is negative 3x squared over 2, and the antiderivative of 7, that is 7x, and then constant c. Or, you can write your answer as 1 third x raised to 3 minus 3 over 2, x squared plus 7x plus c, and this will be our answer. I hope you've learned from this video. Thank you so much for watching and God bless us all.